Who knows where I'd be now if I had to listen to Coach Pearl and all the other folks with the Outlive program. Outlive is Tennessee basketball's battle and its effort to help the UT Cancer Institute and the hospital here uh, help people outlive cancer. It started with Chris Lofton. He fires over the top of him. That front good. Lofton over Durant. Tennessee leads at 88-87. Add that to the list of great shots in his career. He battled and beat his cancer while he maintained his status at the University of Tennessee on our basketball program. Anytime a doctor comes up and tells you you have cancer, it kind of changes your whole perspective on life. And it was about two years ago, and I got these splotches on both of my hips, on the left and right side, and I didn't think much about it. I'd heard Co Coach Pearl talking about Outlive, and if you have something that's suspicious, make sure you stay after it and get it screened and get it checked, and I kept thinking about that. And even though my dermatologist said it was just dry skin, I went back again and I said, would you look at it one more time? And so they did a biopsy and they sent it off to Yale Medical School and sure enough they came back and said it was T-cell lymphoma, which is a type of skin cancer. I told my wife and I told my minister and I told Bruce Pearl. I said, Bruce, pray for me. Um, I want you to know what Outlive did for me because it may have saved my life because I want you to continue to do this and continue to fight. And I appreciate your help in that regard. Last December, January uh, is when we started the treatments. During the SEC tournament, I spent a day at Vanderbilt Medical Center and they also took a look at a battery of tests. And so one day I was uh, at Vanderbilt Medical Center and the next day I was calling the, uh, the SEC tournament games over in Nashville. I don't know if this ever is going to go away. You just try and control it, and that's what we're trying to do right now. My situation is skin cancer, which is serious, of course, but not nearly as serious as some of the other battles people in our town are waging. When you go to UT Medical Center and you sit in the waiting room that's overflowing with people going in to get chemo or other type of treatments, uh, it also changes your life and your perspective. When you're waiting to see your doctor and there's no room in the waiting room and you have to wait out in the hall by the elevators, so that just shows you the need right there. We need more space, we need more room, uh, we need more areas for the doctors to do the miracle things that they do, and this outlet program is trying to get there. I mean, we have wonderful facilities. We're blessed in this part of the country to have UT Medical Center, but they need more help so they can help more people. I think now, uh, since I've got a handle on this, and I think we're, we're in a pretty good uh, treatment process, and I, I think we're winning right now, I thought it was a good time to come out. He says, you know, I've got a responsibility here. I've got to tell my story, and perhaps my story will help you and others go find out. Outlive cancer. You've got too many folks that love you and then want to see you around for a long time. We do know lots of things about cancer. We do know a lot, we don't, there are a lot of things we don't know about cancer. But one thing we do know is that early detection is the key to survival. Go get screened. Get your wife to get her mammogram. Get your prostate done. If there's something on your skin that doesn't look normal, go get it checked out. I'm blessed to have so many doctors that have taken great care of me, and I'm, and I'm really thankful to Coach Pearl for his insistence through his Outlift program to make sure you test things and get things screened because if I hadn't, you know, who knows how far along this cancer situation would be with me.